Garner here with the Belmore Merrick Broadcasting Program. Today I'm being joined by our very own principal here at MEPA, Mr. Gomez. Now let's have some fun getting to know our principal. So, Mr. Gomez, as I've heard, you were born in Puerto Rico. How old were you when you moved and was a hard transition? I moved when I was three years old. Um, so I don't really quite remember the transition, but as far as my mother uh, is concerned, she told me that it, w it was pretty easy for me and not only learning the language here, but also uh, getting assimilated to the culture here. Going off of that, did you speak more Spanish or English growing up? Initially I spoke more Spanish, um, but then as I went through the elementary school years, I, I learned English as well. So what type of student were you then in school? Uh, initially I was a little quiet, a little shy, and then as I moved on to high school I uh, became a little bit more gregarious, started joining more clubs, and um, then got, got a lot more friends, and uh, got a job, and that, that also helped me become a little bit more talkative. What type of extracurricular activities did you do? I was involved in student government, in uh, FBLA, um, and uh, smaller clubs like leadership and community service clubs that we had in our school. Did you do any sports? At that time, I, I didn't do any sports, unfortunately, but now that I look back, I wish that I did. Um, so, uh, when you went to college, you decided to go into business at St. John's. Yep. What made you realize you wanted to do that? You know, it's, uh, it's been, it was an area that I was always interested in, business management, marketing, human resources. Uh, I studied a little bit about it in high school when I took some business courses, and as a member of Future Business Leaders of America, that also helped. Uh, and I, I found my experience at St. John's to be remarkable. So, what made you want to then transition from business to education? Unfortunately, in 2001, after 9-11, I lost my job, and I was really trying to figure out where I wanted to go with my life, with my career, and uh, I met a few friends who were going into education. They encouraged me to start uh, studying that, and you know, a few, a few years later, I ended up at Hofstra, and then got landed my first teaching job. Did you originally start as a vice principal, or did you bring teaching in a class? No, I was teaching uh, business classes first in Queens, and then I uh, got a job in Baldwin. And uh, seven years later, I ended up at Belmore Merrick. So, moving into sports, I've heard you're a pretty big Mets fan. Yeah, huge Mets fan. How long have you been a Mets fan for? I, I think all my life. Uh, I remember when I was in middle school and they, they won the World Series. It was probably the highlight of uh, their career, obviously, but it, uh, it really made me a diehard Mets fan. Who would you say your favorite player is? I would say now, even though he's been injured for the last few seasons, David Wright, Jose Reyes was also uh, he was there for a long time, then left out, came back. So we're hoping to see both of them in 2018. Okay, so what is it about the Mets that make you such a big fan of them? I think, uh, A, they're in Queens, so they're close to home. And uh, B, I, I think the dynamic of the team is a very strong one. And I think they really enjoy uh, the game, and uh, they're pretty competitive. I, you know, I know that their stats don't indicate that over the last few seasons, but I really still believe that they can do what they did back in 86. <laughs> so you previously worked at Calhoun as a vice principal. Mm -hmm. What did you hear about Mepham before you came here? All I heard is that Mepham was a great place, that uh, it's, it's more, it, everybody's very cohesive, everyone really gets along, and that uh, it was uh, probably a wonderful environment to be in. So uh, I, even when I was an assistant principal, I always wanted to, I always visited Mepham to talk to Mr. Safina and the other administrators. I met with them, and I always felt a warm welcome every time I walked into the, the doors at Mepham. So then what drew you over to Mepham after you heard Mr. Harrington and Ms. Hayden? Well, you know, obviously a couple of conversations with other administrators encouraged me to apply for the position. And I said to myself, you know, when I, when I started off at Belmore Merrick, I, uh, I was at Grand Avenue, so I knew the students that were coming into Mepham eventually, and I said to myself, you know what, this is, it's time for the next step in my career, and it seems like the perfect building to get a start on. So what have you, what are some differences you know so far between Calhoun and Mepham? Um, you know, that's a good question. I think overall both are very good schools. They both have very strong programs. I think Mepham has a lot more pirate pride in general. There's a lot of, uh, we, we uh, tend to really, uh, you know, wear our maroon and gray with a lot of pride, and I, and I love seeing that around the school on a regular basis. The community here is fantastic. They're very supportive, very encouraging, and, and that makes my life a little easier and also coming to work a lot nicer. So, so far, what's been your favorite school that year? Uh, Battle of the Classes. That was filled with, again, pride and uh, competitiveness, and I just felt that the student body did a really nice job in coming together and competing in fun events, and it was nice to see everybody in the stands uh, really cheering their peers on. So what in your mind makes Beckham a great place to be? I think the fact that we're very family oriented as a faculty um, and that the students really care a great deal about one another. Teachers care a great deal about the students as well. And that says a lot about the type of community we are. 
Okay, that's all the time that we have today. I'm Emma Granite from BNB Broadcasting with Mr. Gomez. Thanks for watching.